that, driving her himself, she won at odds of 31 to 1, the longest payoff in the history of this stake. So another Crawford train filly in behind the gate. She's been at Hoosier this summer in the Genesis Series. 12 join her, the gate now rolling. They're at the post and 13 strong. Here they come. Off stride, no funny stuff. They're off and trotting from the far outside. Swift Connection leaves well between them. Charlotte Coe out fast on the inside. La Alina gets away third. Middle of the racetrack, fourth now as they swing around the turn and head toward the uh, quarter mile station. And drive that way as Miss Bewitched on the inside five. Margie Giggles outside her. Racing next now as they swing around the turn way wide. Shirley Connection, she is sixth as they head to the quarter. The leader by a length and a half now through heavy traffic in that first turn as they reach that juncture. CD Town, she snicked up on the inside for as they race now past the quarter on the back stretch on the outside of her ranging up from way back out all the way is Miss Bewitch the quarter and 29 they're racing down the back stretch on the inside Charlotte Coe gets a trip third on the outside Swift Connection is covered fourth racing fifth on the inside no place to go La Alina outside her racing next as they head down the back side is Fox Valley Patrish on the inside of her racing seven against the rail is Margie Giggles on the outside Oh, Irma is now seven, now six. She's following cover. Next is Shirley Connection. Then comes the Illinois State winner, winner Saccharin, as they race past the half-mile mark in 59-4. And way, way back, trailing after being off stride early is no funny stuff. Also on a break, now dropping out of the picture is Silent Wings. They're racing around the upper turn. And on the inside, the leader was C.D. Town on the outside of her, parked all the way as they head now toward three quarters, moving up still on the move, still on the move, Fox Valley Patrish. That filly's had a tough journey and she is there as they race now toward the top of the lane and she's made the top as they're off the turn and here comes Charlotte Coe trotting very fast. They're past three quarters, 129-1, Charlotte Coe mounts a big drive on the outside for Curran. Inside Fox Valley Patrish and now as they race through the lane, they're four, five, six across the racetrack. Saccharin will be a factor. Here she comes on the outside. Saccharin trotting a storm, but between them, Charlotte Coe has the lead. Here's La Alina and Margie Giggles. Margie Giggles will win it. Margie Giggles got up between them and got there. An amazing performance down the stretch. Margie, Margie Giggles, it'll be a photo between La Alina and Saccharin for two, three, then Charlotte Coe. 158-2, Margie Giggles. Result not yet available. Now it is. Ladies and gentlemen, there she is, Margie Giggles, winner of the Windy Skeeter. And ladies and gentlemen, the DuCoin State Fair is proud to have back, no longer as our governor, but certainly as our friend, former governor Jim Edgar. Jim, thank you for your presentation. And also in Victory Lane, the Director of Agriculture, State of Illinois, Mr. Joe Hampton. A dream come true for Bill and Marta Alanya of Seymour. They trained this filly at the Champaign Fairgrounds, Champaign County Fairgrounds at Urbana. Daughter of incredible finale, she is bred to pace, having a niatros mother, but she trots and she does it well. So well, in fact, she has won the Windy Skeeter. How about it? Bill and Marta Alanya's Margie Giggles.